selection. Selection is what is that? D name is H. It's a result to. Final result is projection. You answered this one. One of the students answered this one. Then another student actually project first. Project employee. Last name, first name, T N O. R one. Then department. Project. So D number, D name. Then join. And final output. Do you think which one is faster? Case one. One, two. Which one is faster? What which one is more efficient? It's the same thing, but label. One or two? Two. 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 Why? Join smaller table. Because you join smaller table. If you have if you process this one, you need to space for entire attribute, all attribute. Which never been used, right? This one is extreme case. Why, why don't you have, suppose that you have the 10,000 attributes, but only two of them are used. You don't have to keep. It's a use, waste of memory, also waste of the computation. So this one is best. So idea of heuristic optimization is apply the operation. Apply the operation that Rule out obvious case. What that to not that never been used. Okay? So first apply the operation that can reduce the size of the data. That is the idea. Then you don't have to process calculate all twelve thousand cases. Instead, only small amount. That is the risk. There are details of the algorithm for the heuristic, right? Oh, this is a nice example. It's the same example. So first, this is called the query tree based on the relational algebra. It's a different the notation to represent your relational algebra expression. For example, project is a P project, you can select the data for step work, then join with the department, then join with the employee, then finally project, P number, D number, name, and birthday. Like that. What about this one? It's a, what is that? X. Cartesian product. So you Cartesian product, P, Project and department. You Cartesian product with the employee. So it's a huge table, temporary table in the memory. Then apply the condition. Do you think which one is better? Definitely the first one is better. It's a waste of space. It's a long time to process it. So this is the idea of heuristic. So you can apply the, such a thing. Apply the operation that can minimize the operation first. So this slide shows how we can apply the heuristic operation. First, this is the only Cartesian product. Then we can first apply the selection operation. First date is uh, after 1957, 1231. First. Uh, 31st, so for the employee. Then we can leave, minimize the employee. Okay. Then also we can apply the project. Okay. Also we can change <coughs> the order of the data, uh, the order of the join. Okay. Eventually we can have the, this project join with the works on before join, we can apply the selection operation and then projection, then join with the employee, and finally we can get the last name. 
this is a heuristic. So most of the DBMS use both heuristic approach as well as and the cost based optimization. If you are using the only cost based optimization, sometimes it takes longer time to find the best way. Even before you process access the data, it takes a long time. Like the, when you make the plan, sometimes you give up your travel before even before you start. Because it takes a long time to decide your travel plan. So thank you. Okay. Actually, this uh, semester, if possible, so I'd like to have the project to implement uh, this heuristic or cost-based optimizer as your project. But um, uh, you see. So this is a summary of a heuristic uh, optimization. So idea is the same as the what I explained. So apply the operation that can minimize the operation size. So first one is the main heuristic is to apply the first operation that reduce the size of the region, right? That makes sense. And perform the select operation as early as possible, right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to keep until the last of the operation, which has never been used, right? Instead, first apply the selection operation. Select and join operation that are most realistic, which means that produce minimum result. That will be, right? So when I, so for example, I, do, I need to access the three room to find uh, something relative. So I have only the one alpha from this room, then find the one, then find the other one who are relative. However, if we can um, access the room, like the most of the student, I need to take most of the student to the next room, then it will be. Uh, harder. So that's the third one. So when you join, when you select the data, most restrictive operation will be applied first. That's what actually mentioned here. This one. So project and works on is better than employee works on because employee works on will produce more data. Instead, why don't we apply project and works on? Then finally, we can have the execution plan, okay? That execution plan will be determined by the two ways. One way is a cost-based query optimization, and another one is a rule-based optimization. To determine the cost-based optimization, there are a bunch of different costs, such as the secondary storage, storage costs, computation, memory, communication, and others. However, we can ignore except the input and output IO. Most of the uh, DBMS, commercial DBMS also, determine the cost using number of IO. We will see the example of Oracle in, during the exercise slide. Okay. So, before we start uh, such a cost-based optimization function, there are some notation that you need to uh, understand. So, Number of record is a uh, lower letter R. Okay, number of record. Why the capital letter is a record size, one record size. For example, ten bytes of the social security, nine bytes of the social security number plus ten bytes of the last name, twenty bytes of the first name. So it's a maximum size. So some of the maximum size of attribute is a record size. In real case, it can be average size in real case, the more. Because most of the, for example, variable character is a variable length. We do not know what is the real size. Instead, we can use the average size. So number of blocks is important because uh, eventually we will count the number of blocks when you access the data. And also blocking factor. Blocking factor is the one block. How many records record in one block? <coughs> For example, block size is 512 bytes. And record size is 100. What is the blocking factor? How many blocks, how many records in one block in this case? 
Fine. Even though you have a space for 12 y, it's uh, just remain. So 5 is the blocking factor. OK? And also, indexing in the indexing structure, number of level. Can you remember? Why don't you remind uh, B3 index, B plus 3 index? It's like the, this is a root node and leaf node, 1, 2, 3 level. <coughs> Because that determines number of IO as we have it. Uh, same differ. One, two, three, then data. So X is the number of level. And number of first level index block. And number of distinct value. And selectivity. And the coordinate. We will discuss more about the, such a, a notation in the next class. So then from next class, we will calculate the cost for each operation method. Right? So for example, linear search is how much do you need? It's a half of the number of block, right? Because if you are lucky, you can find the data first block. If you are not lucky, it will be B. So it's an average B over 2, right? So we can say it's a B. We cannot compute the exact number of IO until we access the data, right? For example, when you make the plan, can you determine the duration, time between two cities? It's just a guess based on the previous data, right? It may take the two hours from here to Manhattan. And from Manhattan to the Boston, it will take the three and a half hours but it's a lovely guess, approximation. It's a exactly the same thing. So it's an approximation. So, and so on. We will uh, see details of the such a uh, cool space optimization function next class. Okay, any question? It's not easy. So usually I spend a couple of weeks to explain the, this one, but this semester, because you are very smart, enough to understand everything. So one week, maybe, probably enough. So which means uh, to get a better grade, you need to uh, review after the class of this one. Any question? Okay, thank you. Yes? We don't have this slide. Yeah, we, we cannot. Oh, really? I will check, then update the class website. Any others? Thank you, and see you.